who have entered this, the American Medical Association, the American Society for the Advancement of Science, the American Hospital Association, the National Tuberculosis. These are but a few of the many scientific organizations with which the hospital is affiliated. A resident staff of eight full-time physicians and 40 nurses, and a consultant staff of 60 physicians and surgeons assure that the best scientific standards are always maintained. This staff has at its disposal thoroughly modern equipment the X-ray and fluoroscope shown here are invaluable in the diagnosis and treatment of tuberculosis. Here we see a patient undergoing pneumothorax, which will put his diseased lung at rest. This hospital does not treat merely the tuberculosis of its patients. Service is available in every branch of, branch of medicine and modern equipment and highly developed technical skills assure the best possible care. Frequently, highly specialized surgery is necessary to save the patient's life. It is readily given without a penny of cost to the patient. The sun shines in Colorado almost every day in the year. And this spacious roof is an important asset in the treatment of certain types of tuberculosis. Meanwhile, cheerful recreation rooms speed these convalescent patients along the road to health. Individualized treatment is the keynote of the hospital service. Private rooms are available for very sick patients. Books from the hospital's extensive library are brought directly to the bedside, and many of these bedridden patients thus take advantage of the hospital's educational facilities. These patients, many of whom have been confined to bed for several years, are now able to go to the main dining room to enjoy the hospital's carefully planned and well-cooked meals to the fullest. The hospital's dietary is strictly kosher, in spite of the fact that no patient pays. Every patient is treated as an honored guest. Sunlit porches adjoining private rooms give these patients a maximum of comfort. Patients who are unable to go to the main dining room are served from six special diet kitchens. The vocational therapy and rehabilitation department prepares the patients for the type of economic life they can best follow after discharge. Many need training in new vocations. These aptitude tests determine manual and mechanical abilities. Instruction in leather craft give these convalescents a gainful and pleasant occupation which they may follow without detriment to their health. Watch repairing is one of the many trades available to the patient. It too provides a profitable and safe vocation. The vocational and therapy and rehabilitation department concerns itself also with patients who are confined to bed and with those suffering special physical handicaps. Two months before this picture was taken, this young woman was enveloped in darkness. Now, through instruction in Braille, which she was, has received at the hospital, she is able to read and write. Many patients need primary instruction in English. Others take advantage of their residence in the hospital to further their education. Hospital classes are well attended. Through the children's service of the National Jewish Hospital, Thousands of tuberculous children have been given the opportunity for the help they could otherwise not have. These little ones, suffering from childhood tuberculosis, spend most of the day out of doors. Snow has no terrors for them, and the stimulating mountain air of Colorado is the tonic which they need for their enfeebled bodies. The 
despite their illness the children of the national jewish hospital are carefree and gay pure milk rich cream fresh eggs green vegetables carefully selected foods of all sorts and in abundance comprise the menus throughout the hospital this cheery dining room is the scene of many children's parties little bodies malformed through tuberculosis are made straight through the scientific and loving care of the hospital the sun is an important assistant the same individualized service given the adult patients is available to the children the children lose no time from their studies while regaining health yesterday these little ones were gripped by disease and despair today through the national jewish hospital they look forward to a happy healthy future the hospital accepts patients in all stages of tuberculosis while eighty percent of all adults admitted come as far advanced cases 73% of all patients discharged leave as either recovered or greatly improved. A highly efficient medical department makes these excellent results possible. Dr. Charles J. Kaufman, the medical director, meets daily with the resident physicians and individualized treatment is prescribed for each patient. In the realm of pure science, as well as for service to the patients, the National Jewish Hospital has won international recognition. Its research department under the direction of Dr. H.J. Corper has been awarded honors and medals from the American Association for the Advancement of Science, the National Tuberculosis Association, the American Medical Association, and similar scientific bodies. The objective of, of this department is the development of a preventative of tuberculosis, and its work is recognized as one of the major forces in the battle against the disease. The research department has one particular recognition for the development of a process which tubercle bacilli will grow on an ordinary potato. This has been universally recognized as a speedy and economical method of determining the presence of tuberculosis in animals and in humans and is in general use in laboratories and hospitals throughout the world. Dr. Corper inspects the potato culture tube and sees with the naked eye billions of tubercle bacilli. Students enrolled in the University of Colorado Medical School receive instruction in tuberculosis here. Now for a glance at the domestic and business departments of the hospital. The main kitchen is a busy and appetizing place. Much of the success in the treatment of the patient depends upon the food which he eats and the hospital spares no expense to give the patients just what the doctor orders. Milk and cream of the highest quality are a principal item in the diet. It will interest you to know that the hospital spends almost $1,000 a month to provide milk and cream for the patient. Fresh meat and poultry are received daily. The weekly meat bill is $350. Fresh vegetables, eggs, fruit, all are readily available. 1,800 dozen eggs and 